She is in shed. Uh, Giovanni told me that, but luckily shed doesn't seem to show up on the video as much as it does in person. But this. What's up YouTube, Jason here, more from Mixology Reptiles. Today we've got an unboxing that we're gonna do. Again, here in the snake room, obviously. And uh, this project we're really excited about. Uh, it's a new one, not for this year. This will be uh, next season, but uh, really excited about this girl. And stay tuned, we might, uh, I might have one of you guys name her. We have some ideas of what we'd like to name this one, but I'd like to get some input from you guys to see what we're gonna name her. So this, uh, this girl comes from Giovanni Gonzalez at Gonzalez Royal Pythons. I'll put his information down in the description below. Super nice guy, he was real helpful. We've been waiting for weather again, as always, and, uh, and payment and everything. He does really nice uh, desert ghost stuff and leopard stuff and stuff like that. And he also does uh, a bunch of the uh, chondros, you know, green tree pythons, stuff like that. So I'll put all this description, all this stuff in the description, check him out. So without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Like I said, this is a female that we've got here. And next uh, next spring, we'll probably have to find a cool male for her. Either that or I'm gonna spend next year making some really nice heads. And uh, the year after that, we'll make some cool visuals. That should clue you into something that we're doing recessive projects. Obviously, that's kind of our thing around here, is as many recessive as possible. Okay, good. Heat pack, nice and secure. I know we've had issues with that before, but that looks really nice. And this fluff, same thing, man. We've talked about this stuff before. I love this fluff. You can get craft stores and stuff. This is great for packing. And of course, I didn't bring my side cutters down. Let's see here. I guess I'll just go ahead and cut the bag at this point because I don't need it. Make sure that she's out of the way. All right, guys. What's she doing? Yeah. So she is in shed. Uh, Giovanni told me that, but luckily shed doesn't seem to show up on the video as much as it does in person. But this is our female pinstripe desert ghost. Those of you guys that don't know about the desert ghost gene, this stuff is is really cool. It uh, the best way I can describe it is the pattern and the color almost looks like it's painted on in kind of like a chalk. Uh, it makes everything super super clean, um, kind of a not pastel in the sense of the gene pastel, but more as in like the color and and uh, like artist style. It makes it look very pastel, kind of. Uh, Kind of soft, like I said, chalk is pretty much the best way I can describe it. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, she's in shed. He uh, he sent me a message the other day, said she had just eaten, that she's eaten really well. Um, but yeah, so this is our pinstripe desert ghost female. And we're gonna need a name for her. We've got a spot in the tub down here. Obviously, as we said in last week's video, the room is still under quarantine. Uh, until we get the rest of these in-house. But uh, we have a couple of names, I ideas. I'm interested to see if you guys come up with anything similar. The uh, kind of the theme of what we've been thinking is along the desert. Um, and obviously some of the stuff that we have is named after characters and stuff like that. So I'll give you those two hints and see what you can come up with. But uh, yeah, put a comment down below what you think she should be named and what would you pair with her next year? Would you make a uh, really cool multi-codon head combos and then raise a male up to breed back? Or would you find a, a really nice uh, head male next year and go for visuals right away? Uh, what would you put with her? We've got some ideas. There's a couple of genes that work really, really well with Desert Ghost. And I'm hoping to have at least one or two of those in one of our combos. This will do it for her, guys. We're gonna, I'll show you a couple more here. There's a little bit of uh, outro music and whatnot, a couple of the snakes. They just, some of them ate today. Uh, I can pull out a couple that did not eat, but we're just gonna open a couple tubs and show you what we got. And uh, I might show you a few rats while we're at. We got a lot of babies right now. 
that's going to do it for this week. Uh, we got a special interview segment coming up next week that uh, I'm really excited about. We got to go out on a trip that you might have seen on Instagram. And uh, I got an interview while we were there. Actually, got a couple, but the first one will be up next week on the site. Uh, as always, Instagram, Facebook, uh, the website morphmixology.com. If you uh, have anything, you build some of the racks or whatnot, tag us, hashtag uh, Martini Snake. If you guys are interested in this shirt, this is not mine. We don't produce these. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of new animal shirts you'll start seeing in the blogs. Uh, these come from $6shirts.com. I'll put them in the link as well. Super cool deal. You buy 10 shirts, you get them for six bucks a piece. Uh, it's pretty cheap and they're really nice quality. So that'll do it for this week, guys. Leave a comment and a like, subscribe. I'll put uh, all of Giovanni's information down below. She looks fantastic. And I'll see you guys next week. See ya.